Day three at the NFL Combine. It's a Friday, and that means the quarterbacks are at the podium. Big day as you watch the mashup of their comments. You know, obviously I love Mesh, love Sierras, um, but, you know, for me, I, you know, where I, where I end up is something I can't control. And I'm going to give my all to whatever team it is that, that takes me. Um, I'm just super excited to be here. Um, you know, it's, it's my dream to play in the NFL, and, and to be able to be here, whatever team I end up being taken by uh, is a blessing for me. Um, you know, again, I, I feel like, I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, obviously, we don't get to choose. So, um, again, I, I, don't, I don't know what's I'd, I'd be surprised either way. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Um, you know, I'm, uh, again, it, it's an honor for me um, to, to be able to be selected by whatever team it is that, that takes a chance on me. So whoever it was at, at whatever position, um, I'm just happy to, to get that chance to the next level. Um, you know, I. I don't really look like, I don't really feel like, um, you know, my drive isn't necessarily to, to, to prove anything. I think for me, it's to, to try to, you know, explain all, all the things that I see to all the, to all the coaches, the GMs, all the decision makers, um, you know, to express uh, myself, um, you know, talk about how I see the game, um, you know, my experiences in, in the past and be able to learn as well, to try to soak as much in from the process, um, you know, learn from the coaches, um, being able to talk to some players and play in the league now. Um, so for me, it's a big learning experience, and I'm, I'm doing my best to, you know, to try to, you know, explain how I how I've gotten here, and and you know, try to find that great fit. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, out there, it's 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 always competition, and you know, being able to go against the the first defense so much at, at Alabama, I feel like that that prepared me. Um, you know, at a young age, I was able to see so much from uh, playing against Coach Saban's defense and playing against a bunch of great guys, and, including Sierras. Um, so I think it was really, uh, you know, I think it was really beneficial for me again to be able to get reps, to be able to grow and and learn and make mistakes, but uh, challenge myself. And I think that's one of the beauties of going to Alabama. Uh, yeah, 100 percent. You know, I've talked to a good amount of guys. I've tried to prepare myself as much as I can for the next level and for this process. Um, you know, specifically, I, I was talking to Mac earlier this week um, and he gave me a lot of great advice about, you know, kind of just how to how to how to how to carry yourself. Um, you know, things that he's learned in his years there. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of things that you know, I'm going to take in and, 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 and hold on to. And I'm, I'm super grateful for the for the guidance I've gotten from him on top of, you know, many other NFL players. You know, hardest part, um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to pinpoint. Um, there's been a lot of struggles, you know, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of adversity. But, you know, for me, honestly, that's something I embrace and I enjoy. Um, you know, things being being tough, um, you know, me being, you know, being going from to you know, going to the south, you know, going to college away from away from home, being in new environments, um, being challenged each and every day by by coaches and, and, and my teammates there. Um, you know, it, it's a lot that that's of adversity. But again, that's what I embrace. Uh, I enjoy that. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, those challenges that, that that's what equals equals out to growth. And, and for me, that's something I take pride in. So, um, you know, even the, the, the downs and the, and the struggles, um, you know, at the end of the day, even throughout it, I know that it's only going to make me better. Uh, yeah, one thing about me, I want to show uh, first and foremost is my foundation, uh, how, how I am as a man, I am as my person. Uh, and of course, I want to uh, show uh, I'm a man of God and let that know, let that be known. And then secondly, I just want to show that who I am. I want to be myself. I want to be unapologetically myself. No matter what room I step in, I want to let them know that I control the room and that I, that I'm a leader. Um, and and then third, I want to show them the IQ that I have uh, about the game when they ask me questions about plays or different things like that. That I let them know um, that I that I am a, a student of the game and I'm willing to learn and I know I have a lot to learn. So. Um, but I do come from an offense that um, is high power, and I did put a lot of points up, but um, am, am willing to go back to square one and, and learn it all over again just to be great at, at this league. So those are three things I try to show. Uh, I, I like to be um, just confident really in myself, and, and another thing I like to do is kind of just extend plays and uh, but take the routine plays when they're routine. Uh, so I don't try to press the envelope, and I think that's very important being a quarterback sometimes because you want to let your, your teammates know that um, – you're not always trying to be Superman, but when you need to be that, make that play and you you can extend that play, you get a lot more respect from your teammates. So um, those are just things I like to do. Um, I think I'm I think I'm uh, I'm a playmaker. I think I'm very creative, uh, and I think I'm, I'm smart when it comes to protections and things like that because I solve a lot of issues before they're even there, uh, and that's something I pride myself on. And and one thing about me, I uh, I think. Uh, I'm a ball placement specialist. That's one thing. I like to be very accurate. I don't want my receivers to have to do really anything to catch the ball. And I think I've shown that time and time on film again. Yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of conversation with older veterans. Uh, I remember the conversation with Larry Fitzgerald I had up in Arizona at the Super Bowl. And um, he was basically telling me kind of just the confidence piece about it, just being really confident in yourself, uh, like, and, and really just um, – being being a student in the game, uh, not only not being too cool for school, uh, going in there and, and controlling that controlling that team from all the way from rookie minicamp, and uh, I think that's how it starts because you can't 
I don't think you can build a dynasty or, or build something like that without a, a good foundation. And uh, that's something that I want to do when I come in is, is be a leader. And, of course, not demand respect, but earn it, uh, build trust off the field and be a, uh, be a leader not only on the field but off as well. So that's what I plan to do. Um, I, I guess it's a good thing. You know, I don't think about it much. You know, I, I just try to be the best version of myself that I can be. You know, and I feel like I continue to grow and I will continue to grow. I'm able to do everything on the field, you know, run over people, jump over people, run past people, throw the ball pretty well. So just tying it all together, I feel like that just helps me become a better quarterback. You know, uh, my guy right there said I'm a project, you know. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I, I guess teams already know that um, I, have, I have room to grow. So uh, they see sparks in me. I see that myself as well. So um, I don't have to, you know, talk about experience with them because they watch the tape and they know I've been playing football for a while. You know, it's just a matter of what level I've been playing on. So uh, I, I think I'm ready. I know I'm ready and, you know, they'll get that from me. You know, just everything I'm able to do on the field, you know, and everything I'm willing to do on the field. You know, I'm willing to put my body on the line. I'm willing to, to grow in the, um, the meeting rooms, in the locker room as a leader. You know, I'm just willing to do everything in my power to be the best version of myself that I can be for the organization I go to. Lord knows, man. Uh, SEC championship, you know, national championship. Uh, I had high hopes of winning the Heisman last year. So uh, th there's a lot of things I left undone, but I feel like I left my mark on Florida. You know, uh, some people might not say uh, I was a great quarterback at Florida, but hey, who cares what they say? You know, I feel like I, I did pretty well there and I'm just blessed to be here.